Hey guys, what's up? This is Frank from FGF Sports and Collectibles, and today we are going to be taking a look at the divisional round. Um, as you can see in the background, it is win or go home. Um, if you don't win, even if you're playing at home, you you're, you're done and you're gonna you're gonna stay at home because you're not going anywhere else. Um, this video is gonna be about my predictions for the divisional round. We got four games being played: two on Saturday, two on Sunday. So we're gonna go over them really quickly. And uh, I'm going to make up a decision as to who I'm picking. I have it kind of written down, but it could kind of change, especially considering um, a few few key factors. Uh, the first game is the Bengals versus Titans. Joe Burrow, obviously, outstanding year. Ryan Tannehill, he's played pretty, you know, mediocre. But he's, you know, he's a good enough quarterback to win football games. Joe Mixon has played pretty much a full season. He has 1,200 yards, 13 TDs. I only mention the full season because Derrick Henry has 900 yards and he played seven and a half games. Just putting that out there. Fate just didn't want him to break every single record ever invented. Um, So he's going to be a major factor in the game. If he plays lights out like an MVP, the Titans will win the game. I guarantee it. If he gets shut down and the injury is, you know, putting a little bit of a, a stop on him being able to, you know, move forward. And, you know, the, the Bengals defense are able to lock him up pretty well. And he doesn't pop off for 150 yards and two TDs. Then I think they stand a chance. Receiving court also obviously plays a huge part in it. Jamar Chase, A.J. Brown, um... T. Higgins, Julio Jones, all very, very good players. But I think officially now, see, I had Bengals for a long, long time leading up to this. But Tennessee is favored currently. And um, I think with, with Derrick Henry back, they have a higher chance to win than they do lose. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure Vegas was like the stat line or the uh, the betting line kind of flips a little bit if he is playing or not. So I'll say this: if Derrick Henry plays, I pick the Titans. If Derrick Henry does not play, I pick the Bengals. So if something to, if something crazy happens and he does not play, I'm picking the Bengals. Just I'm going on record and saying that here because I'm not going to be making a video like. An hour before the game starts, I mean, like, well, guys, I'm actually changing my prediction, and I think the Bengals are going to win. So it's Titans, assuming Derrick Henry plays. And again, that game is on Saturday at 4.30. Saturday at 8.15, we have the 49ers against the Packers. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, mediocre quarterback, a little bit better than Ryan Tannehill in terms of stats, but um, I think they're very similar. Aaron Rodgers, obviously, um, very, very, very good. He's been very good for a long time. He's thrown four interceptions all year, 37 touchdown passes, 4,100 yards, rating of 111. He's, he's just a very good quarterback. This, this game is the only one that I don't really think needs a whole lot of explanation. I'm going to take the Packers, really, no matter what, um, unless Aaron Rodgers' toe just goes up in flames, uh, I, the Packers will uh, will win the game. And it won't be very close, in my in my opinion. I, th I think the Packers' offense will just absolutely expose the 49ers. I mean, you never know. It could be really close, but I don't think it will be. So, Packers. Rams, Bucks, both very, very good teams. Um... I think the turnover margin in this game is very important. It depends on how many interceptions Matthew Stafford throws. Um, less than two, I think he's all right. Two or more, I think uh, it's a little bit, a little bit iffy. Um, I think I, I think I have to maybe take the buck. Let me see. Is Chris Godwin playing? Because that's kind of a major factor. If Chris Godwin's playing, which. He's still on IR. And... Had surgery, so uh, he will not be playing. I I think... 
I think I'm going to go with the Rams. Betting against Tom Brady in the playoffs is never a good idea. So I'm going to take that into account. But I think I'm I think I'm gonna pick the Rams. I'll bet against the uh I'll bet against the spread. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one to the Rams. I think they've just played um played really well against better opponents. If that means anything to anyone, um the 49ers game, that doesn't really count. If we don't count that, they've beaten a lot of very good teams. And the Buccaneers, I from what I have remembered, they had a very, very easy end of the season. I mean, they had to beat the Eagles last week, which isn't a tough task. I mean, they the last three games were the Panthers, Jets, and Panthers. And then they lost to the Saints, which you can't call a great team. Um, they barely beat the Bills. That was a close game. They beat the Falcons. Barely beat the Colts, who are not in the playoffs. They destroyed the Giants, but it's the Giants. They lost to the football team. I mean... They didn't make the playoffs. I'm giving this one to the Rams. I th I think they uh they'll be able to do it. Next game, Bills Chiefs. Um, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, both quarterbacks have played very good football. Um, both have a passer rating above ninety. Both teams have serviceable running backs, uh, kind of iffy, but they they're good enough. And both teams have. I would say the Chiefs have a better receiving core, but the Bills definitely have a good one, especially with um, guys like Gabriel Davis and Isaiah McKenzie kind of stepping up a little bit more recently. Um, the Bills do absolutely destroy the Chiefs' defense, and the Chiefs' offense kind of overshadows the Bills' offense. But based on how bad the Chiefs' defense is and how good the Bills' defense is, and how, you know, Chiefs offense and Bills offense. I mean, I'm going to give it to the Bills, I think. I think Josh Allen will uh, will be able to take the win here. It is a very, very scheme scary team to play against. But, I mean, let's see here. The Chiefs are only favored to win by two as of the time I'm recording this. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the Bills, but I kind of hope the Chiefs win because I have a lot more Chiefs cards that'll be worth a lot more money if they win than I do Bills cards if they win. But we're gonna go with the Bills. So I'm betting against the spread on a lot of these games. Um, and then again, the the Tennessee Titans pick is conditional on Derrick Henry playing. If he doesn't play, Bengals. If he plays, Titans. So I hope you enjoy. Um, if you agree with my predictions, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed my analysis and explanation of the picks. I'm doing that for the playoffs, not the regular season, because if I did it for the regular season, it would take a very long time. Um, so I hope you, uh, got a little look into my mindset as to how I'm making the decision. Again, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, which will be the divisional round preview where we take a look at every game, every stat line, and uh, a little bit of an insight as to maybe injuries and other headlines surrounding the game. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.